Today I want to show you how to use Google Docs to actively read in your text reading. Uh, if you can see, I'm in Canvas. This is um, an assignment. So it says click here to access the text reading, scientific ways of thinking, make your own copy in your Google Docs, apply good reading strategies for before, during, and after reading. I am already logged in to my inbox for my Gmail. Your instructor should have already shown you how to do that, whether it's through a school Gmail account or through a personal Gmail account that you make for free. I'm already logged in. So I'm going to click on this link and what it's going to do is it's going to open up inside of my Google Docs. As you can see, here is my email name up here. So if you don't see your email name, make sure that you're logged into your own Google Docs. What this does is it's provided me a way of making a copy. So here I am. I want you to go to File, click on File, and I want you to make a copy. This allows each student to have their own copy in their own Google Docs that they can edit themselves. If I make a copy, I'm going to rename this, and I'm going to use my name here, Michael's copy of Unit 1, and I'm going to click OK. So now I have my own copy in my own Google Docs that I can now edit and I can practice good reading strategies. So the first thing that I like to do when I get an assignment that I need to read is I want to practice my before reading habits. So I need to set goals, I need to preview, and I need to activate schema. My goal for reading is to understand scientific thinking so I can finish my homework. Your goal might be different than my goal. It's okay. Each person's goal should be unique. Now I'm going to preview. I want to look at some pictures. Oh, I see that's a haunted house. Looks kind of scary. I wonder how that applies to science. Oh, there's a heading, scientific way of thinking. There are some bold words, which I want to pay special attention to. Thinking like a scientist. Oh, I see a chimpanzee. A little baby one, they're eating something. I've seen those at the zoo. And I come down. So I'm looking at about four pages. And it has to do with thinking like a scientist. So about four pages broken up into small paragraphs. By looking at this and previewing, I can tell that I'm not going to need a ton of a amount of time to read through this assignment. That's good. If this was 16 pages, I know that I'd have to break it up into smaller chunks. So being four pages with some big pictures, I always love those pictures. That's good. Okay, I've previewed. Now I'm going to activate schema, which is my prior knowledge. So I have prior knowledge of what scientists do. They do a lot of research and they come up with observations. Um, I don't know if I really know about scientific ways of thinking, but I can propose that it has to do with facts and evidence. And then I have prior knowledge of scientists out in the world with animals. So scientists look for facts and evidence. I'm going to fix my spelling here. So those, I have activated schema. Okay, my first before reading strategies have been done. Now I get to implement good reading strategies. So scientific ways of thinking. I see a haunted house here. What was that noise? If you let your emotions rule your thinking, you might think a thumping noise was a ghost. If you think like a scientist, however, you ask questions and make observations. You observe the shutters are loose and blowing in the wind. This button right here is to add a comment. See it next to the little chain link? So I'm going to add a comment, and I want to add it right here because this observe word is, is highlighted in bold, so I want to make sure that I understand what observe is. So I'm going to make a comment there. Notice my name pops up. I've highlighted right here. Here's the comment. So I'm going to use observing as seeing with your ears and eyes because notice you hear a thumping noise you don't want to think it's a ghost not your imagination so this is a comment that I have engaged with the readers I've engaged with the author I'm actually making comments on the paper itself modern science is a way of understanding the physical word based on observable evidence 
reasoning, and repeated testing. Oh, repeated testing. I wonder why you have to repeat things. I wonder why you have to repeat. When I ask questions of the text, this helps me to keep engaged and it also helps to know if I don't get those answered, I'm going to have to find those answers somewhere else. Now I go back to my reading. That means scientists explain the world based on their own observations. If they develop new ideas about the way the world works, they set up a way to test those new ideas. Evidence. I wonder what they mean by evidence here. Modern science is a way of understanding the physical world based on observable evidence. I think evidence is facts, but I'm going to double check just to make sure. So I'm going to take that word evidence and I'm just going to type it into my Google and see what I come up with for a definition. Body of facts or information indicating whether belief or proposition is true or valid. So I was correct. Here I'm monitoring comprehension and I'm checking that my comprehension is good. So. I can change that question mark to an exclamation point. It is facts. Thinking like a scientist. A scientist is always trying to find the truth and discover new truths. How can you think like a scientist? How can I think like a scientist? Here I want to relate this to my personal life. I remember when my dog was sick so I had to find out the truth about what was making him sick. That's just one incident where I have thought like a scientist. Thinking like a scientist is based on asking and answering questions. Though you may not know it, you do this all day long. Scientists ask questions and then make detailed observations to try to ask more specific questions and develop a hypothesis. Here's a big word, hypothesis. I need to know what this word means because I can't figure it out within my reading. So I'm going to highlight that. And here's where I'm going to leave you because you're going to finish this assignment yourself.